My name is Lana Fryberger, and I'm here to uh, basically orientate it more towards. May I shift this? Okay, uh, more orientated towards uh, the changes that you want to make. First of all, we're working in a, a quasi-judicial manner. Is that is that correct, Brendan? This is the public hearing. They act as quasi-judicial judges? This is just a comment period. Okay, well it's listed as a public hearing. This is a public hearing. It's not adjudicated. There's nothing being adjudicated. They're contemplating a change to the okay. so they're taking your comment. Well, I would like to uh, ask Mr. Candelaria to recuse himself uh, due to last May 14th we made a uh, a vote to uh, go ahead and accept the Trash Authority's contract. Uh, this was a contract that was negotiated by Miss Ansley and Joseph Ellis. And it was not supposed to be seen until the day of May 14th. So on that day, I asked that we table the vote until we uh, had a chance to look at the contract that they presented back to the commission. And so at that time we had directed Miss Ansley on, on Mar uh, May 14th to go out for an RFP. I'm not for sure if we have to vote on ever RFP. I'm not for sure that when the commission gives her direction, she feels that unless we vote on it, uh, she doesn't have to do it. But irregardless, I think 18, 19 months is enough time to get some type of damn clarification for it. But in this, on April 9th, a month before, a little over a month before, uh, Mr. Candelaria visited the Trash Authority and a email to Bill Williams from Joseph Ellis states that Leroy just stopped by on his way back from the commission meeting he wants us to know he is 100% behind us. So before we ever even took a vote, they already knew that it would pass. And so that leads me to believe that him and Commissioner Coppia may have conspired because they did not want to take the time to uh, read the contract anyway. Now in this, you have that you will take away, it's been deleted, any type of discounts. So the way the proposal reads now is that we will have to pay full service instead of the $83 if we hire a, uh, a trash company to haul our trash, no matter who we haul. If you pass this, then that will effectively uh, eliminate trash business in this county. Because who among all of these citizens and more are going to pay $240, $260 for trash service to your door in addition to $240, $250. I can expect that the trash companies that are in this county would decide to file suit against this commission in this county for putting them out of business. And that's what this ordinance will do. The other thing is, is that the county has decided to pay off the uh, um, EBSWA, any type of liens or any type of people don't pay. So then I'm not for sure what you will do, and I will ask you the question, do you plan on collecting that money from citizens? Does the commission decide that they will then file a lien? Is that what the county wants to do? I'm asking the commission. This is public hearing. It will well, be, put, it will be it. put on the agenda when the commission Okay, so in other words, you don't know what you'll do. So what I want to know is, is if you file the lien, if you file, if you're going to pay, according to this ordinance, EBSWA, if a trash company gets the contract, which hopefully they will, we've been asking for it for 19 months, and a dereliction of duty shows that we're not going out for an RFP, but if we do go out and we get a contract in Lincoln County, it cut their bill in half. In half it cut their bill. 
And so I have here the email, and then I also want to know if when we pay off other liens, okay. we have a lien here Thank you. for Mr. Thank you. Frost. Thank you, Mr. Frost. That is for thirty-eight thousand dollars for a federal tax lien. Okay. Will the county decide to do that also? Thank you. You're five minutes early. Thanks, Mr. Freiberger. What's that? I would like that. Thank you. So the question becomes, you know, where are we going to stop paying these liens? Will we also pay the federal tax lien against Mr. Frost? Will we also pay the other tax liens off and then go after their homes? This is a very poor constructed ordinance that you've got. The people that are veterans, the people that have given their service for this country, you no longer will give them discounts. The people that are handicapped, the people that are disabled, the gentleman that Mr. Brister explained, he will no longer get a discount because of his disability. You don't have any legs, it don't matter. The trash authority needs some money. And if that trash authority is claiming that they're not making money, yet they gave raises, and they gave $20,000 worth of bonuses to all of the employees, this doesn't sound like a company that is losing money and needs all of this coming in. So Nick demonstrated that you can have a great safety program without bonuses. You can have all of this without. And if you manage effectively, then the, the trash authority could make money and still save money for the citizens of this county. So it's a public hearing, and I'm here to tell you, just like Mr. Saleem, which apparently he didn't get punished or anything the way he spoke to a commission. So I'm telling you that this ordinance you have, you can wad it up, and I don't even think it's good enough to wipe your ass. 